Welcome to the Andrea Giovino Show. I want to thank all my subscribers. I want to thank all the people that continue to make comments and thumbs up. And I always like to thank Jesus for keeping me humble and giving me this platform. And today we have Toby TNT. We're going to have some good conversation. Hi, Tobe. How's it going? Good. So I wanted to cover, um, be, being that my show is a crime show, you know, and it's all about crime, uh, the crime that are committed with P. Diddy, which is going viral all over, I felt we should discuss it as being a crime show. Yeah, yeah, no, we were having conversations earlier about him and, and throughout the week, so that's that's a good one to talk about today. Um, I'm quite surprised. I was actually a little bit optimistic in the beginning, thinking, you know, maybe this guy's innocent. You can't just always assume somebody's guilty. No, right. Because um, of allegations that are made. Mm-hmm. But uh, then, um, you know, the last couple of days, you know, we now see video wow. of him being uh, abusive, and, and I mean, I mean, it was it was pretty disgusting what I saw. Um, it was brutal. I it, mean, it, it was brutal. I, mean, like, I, I would like to crack him around the way he slapped her around. I mean, because because what kind of man? Does something like that to a woman? You got to be a real. He was kicking her in the stomach. Kicking her, I mean, dragging her. You you got to I mean, be. Come a, on, she was tiny little thing. I always looked at P Diddy in this I always industry. Liked him. I always liked him. I always liked him. I always thought he was a class act. I, that's exactly when what I, I thought. When I see the commercial of Ciroc and all of that, I thought, wow, he's really classy. He really made something of himself, not knowing this. So. So I, I looked at him throughout the years as someone I before you know I obviously saw all of this happen as someone that I to a degree admired Admire. in, in different aspects and mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm going to tell you what I admired about the guy throughout the years and and, and it's, it's it's definitely not this I mean this is this is this is a disgrace um, throughout the years you know watching someone like him in the film industry in the music industry in the aspect of business and entertainment and all the stuff that he's accomplished as a Very person. Smart. Very smart. And then also claiming to be, you know, spiritual and talking about doing the right things. This is a guy that I looked at with, with a certain level of admiration compared to many other individuals in, in, in the entertainment or music industry, etc. cetera. Um, I, and the reason why I would say that is, I mean, he's had hit records. He's, he's starred in films. He's been extremely successful with launching many people's careers. Mm -hmm. um, he's he's been around for for many years. He's, he's been around for many years, but he's also been part of brands that he's he's created with with with, with the um, with the Ciroc and and the um, the Sean John clothing the line. The labing, yeah, I mean, this, this is an individual of success, financial success. success but also an individual that has portrayed himself in a certain manner. He looked to be a better individual But, it, to but me. if you remember back uh, over 20 years ago, I think it was when um, he was going with J-Lo and he got arrested in the club with the gun and all of that, I thought he grew from that and changed from that, you know, and developed from that. So, so here's the thing, and, and you notice and I notice and I see this with a lot of guys, you know, in in the music industry and in the entertainment industry, especially when you, when you get into the realm of of rap. Obviously, we were just with some people today. Um, you know, a lot of these people like like come from similar backgrounds as ours. They might not necessarily be Italian American mafia backgrounds. Mm -hmm. They might be backgrounds from from, from from the hood, whether it be the black or in the Latino inner city. In the inner inner city. city. And you know, when you when you're in that and you're in that inner circle and you, you know, you're a guy that has been in the inner circles of whether it be P. Diddy, Fifty Cent, Jay Z, J Rule, any ja of these Ja Rule, any, any of these of guys. Okay. Any of these guys, a lot of times you're you're involved in and around the organized crime element of, of that particular of culture crime. of crime of culture. So I, I have no doubt that P Diddy is at now. Granted, at some point in time, it is what I would equate to on the Italian side of things as 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 a street guy. 
Granted, he's been in the music industry, he's an entertainer, he's a dancer, he's this, he's that. But, you know, pulled out a gun, shot somebody in the club, he's been around a lot of heavy hitters. In order to be in and around the people he's been around, there's some type of street element mm -hmm. that goes along with that. Oh, yeah. When, you, when you're in the hip-hop industry... But he did carry himself for a long time like a gentleman. I agree. He did. I I've agree. I've never seen this side of him. I liked him. I liked him as well. I liked him. I liked him. I thought I respected him as Me a man. Too, but I don't like this. I think it takes a certain type of character. To hit someone. To, to hit, hit a some... woman. Not hit someone. Forget about just hit someone. It hit a woman. And, and, and even take that into the equation. Let's even take it to the next level. He didn't just hit a woman. Was kicking he her. knocked her down to the floor. He was kicking. Kicked her while she was down, and, dragged and then her. dragged her. I don't know yeah. what type of alcohol or drugs or any possible excuse for a man to do that. What could this woman? And if you looked at the video, because the video went, it was viral on every news outlet. Um, she looked. Ter she was terrified. She was she was in like a fetal position trying to protect herself, and that's kind of what a woman does if she's get she's getting hit. She's holding herself down and she's protecting herself. Now there are going to be people out there that are going to say things about her. I don't care what about her. I don't care. There's what nothing. She, you, there's, there's nothing you can say. Right. Because I, certain things in life. I don't care if she's the worst person on earth. She's a woman, and you're beating her. 100% agreed. She's a woman and you're beating her. 100% agreed. But there agreed. will be people that would discredit to stick up for him to say, oh, no, she took him to court. She got her money. That has nothing to do with it. Obviously, the judicial system thought she was right when she did settle the case and she did get money. And this stuff didn't even come out because mm -hmm. people were calling her a liar back then. Yeah. Okay? When this was all going on, oh, she's a liar. She's a gold digger. She wanted money. Women don't make this up. Women don't make this kind of stuff up. I know because these things happen to me. They don't, it's embarrassing to even say. It's humiliating to even say. So, you know, it's disgusting. And now, and now it makes me think that all the other things, the allegations that they were saying about him, are those things true? Which are even worse. I know. Once, once you get into young kids, it's even... I mean, I mean. so what we saw in that video is, 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 is by far disgusting. Disgusting. Okay? It's disgusting. Um, I, I, what I want, and, and I don't, like, I say this seriously, I want punks like that, and these are for these people watching, this is for everybody watching, you do that to a woman, I don't care what the woman did, you're a sucker, you're a weak man, Yeah. you're a punk, I'm looking at you through the camera, through the lens right now, come beat up a guy like me, slap a guy like me around like that, let's see what happens, Okay. That's what I say to all of these people. Yeah. I got no respect for these men. There's nothing that woman could have did. No. And let me tell she you what. She was leaving the hotel room to get away from him. She wasn't going toward him to hit him. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes they could rationalize it where she hit him in the face. She was she was running away from him to go to get away from him. Ha so, so, and he so, went after her. So rationalize it. I'm, I'm going to use. So, Through a hotel. So, 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 so I, I, I have an ex. You think I haven't been punched in the face by, 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 by an ex or. Hit or had a weapon pulled yeah. on me, or <laughs> I'm going. I'm, I'm not going to mention any names, or I'm going to go hide my gun because I'm scared that yeah. she might shoot me. Yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? So now yeah. I got to go. Let me go get my gun and put it away. Right. Yeah. I ain't slapping no woman around no. like that. You leave the house. You walk away. There ain't no way I'm getting a woman and I'm slapping around. What possible excuse could this man have had to run out of a hotel room in a robe? And do that. Down the whole way. I, but even if, what could he possibly say to defend himself right now? I don't, uh, I, know, I, know, I, know, I, know what they, I know what they're going to say. They're going to say he was impaired. He was impaired from alcohol and who knows. That's what a good, an attorney is going to say. He was impaired. He didn't know what he mm. was doing and yada, 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 yada. You know, that kind of thing to try to, you know, rationalize it. Or, you know, I, I don't care how you rationalize it. So, because you're impaired, that gives you the right maybe to go kill somebody? He, he wasn't. One punch or one blow to the head, yeah. she could be dead? That I'm going to tell you right now, being impaired is not an excuse for those no, actions. No, it's not an excuse. Because even if he was somewhat impaired, he was able to strike and hit a certain point. He right. was able to kick and hit the I mark. He was able to make one grab for the hair and then drag. I don't know the law um, 
but I'd like to know this question is that, so this case got settled back then, she got money and all that, and it was like a hush-hush case, but now this video just surfaced. I'm wondering, can he be charged? Can he, he cannot. be charged with so, so from what I gather right now, there's, there's a statute of limitations that's already passed on this, right. which he cannot be charged for that. Right. But what he can be charged with is character. Okay, there's a character issue there. And any well, other crimes... Still, there still is an open case on him that they're still <clears throat> investigating about the trap. And, 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 and when people see this video... It's going to make them really open their eyes to look into him even more. Correct. Correct. So you it know, didn't make it any better for him. Th th there's sometimes situations and altercations that happen mm. where it may be a man or a woman and things happen and something happens and maybe a physical altercation occurs... That particular physical altercation. No, this that was wasn't, a beating. This wasn't. That was was a beating. This wasn't hitting somebody off of him. This wasn't self defense. No. This was chasing down a woman. Yeah, and beating her, knocking her down to the ground, dragging her, kicking her, and then dragging her by force into a room. And who knows what went on? Which, after it, that. which apparently. And I, and I don't know the details behind this. Apparently, she was forced to have sex with other men. I mean, this is if that's this, if that's, this is heinous. This is crazy. disgusting. This is horrible to do this to this young woman. Wow. I don't care who the woman is. Like not to, all the money to do in this the to world anybody. is not worth that. I mean, that, that's that's evil. That's human cruelty. Yeah, it is. It's at, at, yeah, and I, I, how in the world can anyone justify that? I don't know. He's a sick individual. I mean, this this this, this has a me a little sick, work up worked up, as you see. He's a very sick individual, though. And again, we see these people though a lot of times, you know, in in, in the entertainment industry. Whether you know, we get caught up with them on on, on music or TV or whatever. Well, well, let let's go back. In these current times, right now. I, I've been turned off by Hollywood. I've been turned off by these celebrities because I feel that people get to a point where they make all this money and they think they're untouchable and they think they, they can go out and do anything they want. And that's not how life is because in a blink of an eye, things can change for you. And the guy upstairs is the guy that's in control of 100%. your destiny and he can make it happen like that. So, yeah, he sits up there and he's watching everything. And maybe he saw too much already in this particular individual, P. Diddy. But I think that the public puts too much importance on these celebrities, which a lot of them do not have any character at all or no morals at all. Because when you have to start having sex with other partners and, and, and orgies and, you know, if he's, if he's trafficking, we don't know that to be true yet. That, that, if that if, is true, I don't like, we to, don't know. I don't like to accuse someone. No, falsely. because we don't know the facts. Exactly. I'm, I'm, if I'm a jury, that's one of the worst I'm crimes. not going to judge anybody until I hear the facts. Correct. I want all the facts. Yes. I have the facts now because I witnessed what he did to the woman and we know he's an abuser. He's a hitter. I don't know if he's a trafficker because I didn't see that yet. So we're waiting for that stuff to come out. The point I'm getting out is that, to me, it's like a lot of stuff is going to be coming out about these celebrities because look what happened with even, you know, Harvey Weinstein, the Me Too, uh, you know, um, the, 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 that uh, movement, you know, when actresses were being <coughs> sexually assaulted and abused up in his hotel room. You know, he thought he, he's another one. He thought that he was untouchable, you know, because he was Harvey Weinstein. But the, wor the worst crimes, some of the worst crimes, in my opinion, are the crimes that are done to the youth. Oh, yeah. To Young. our children. Yes. Even if they're teenagers, they're yes. still... They're still children. They're children. Oh, yeah. And, you know, when you exploit or you sex traffic. Oh, no, it's horrible. Or 
I mean, this is the worst crime to be committed. These are some of the it's worst innocent. You're crimes. taking advantage of innocence. Yeah. Innocence. Yeah. And and to me, anyone that can do that with an animal, even an animal. Agreed. You know, you hurt an, an innocent animal or a child is just like that. Innocent. Yeah. You're, you're taking away their innocence. That to me is pure evil. It's what, evil. What people need to do is they need to stand up for what is right. They need to look inside themselves inside their own soul, okay, they got to look up to God and start taking a stand and stop being caught up with celebrity. this celebrity. Yes, celebrity. celebrity. Because there's nothing to celebrate. Right. You want to know what there is to celebrate? A good human being. And a lot a of kind people, person. And a lot of people make money they God, like, that's my power. That's like the power. That shouldn't be. That should never be. That should be. You still should be. I don't care if you're a multi-billionaire. Humble, kind, gracious, and give back. Humble, number one. Humble. How did I get here? Why am I here? Obviously, maybe the Lord wants me to do something good, not put something evil. When you go something evil, how did I get here? You got the devil on, on your back. You got the devil pushing you through. And that's the, that's the thing people don't understand. That, that we lost in this country, in the world actually, we lost the word respect. The, re the word respect doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't exist because this is no respect. So Mon with that- Money can't buy happiness and that's what a lot of people don't realize. And, and, I, and, no, I, and I, le I learned this when I was a little bit younger and I started making a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And what you end up doing is you keep chasing the dollar. You make money, you yes. want to keep making more. Right. And then you want to keep making more. you got to be happy. And you think the money is going to make you happy, but you keep chasing it. It's not about the money. Right. It's about where are you as a person? Where mm -hmm. are you as a human being? And this is where I think a lot of these people fall short in this industry, in the mm -hmm. entertainment industry, whether it be film or music or whatever. They fall short by getting caught up in the big record label, mm -hmm. the big music producer, the big actor or celebrity. And they lose themselves. They lose themselves into that. And, and that's where they get caught up. They don't have a foundation of something strong inside of them to say. And I always go to, when I tell people, you should always listen to your gut. If your gut is telling you this isn't right, you can guarantee it's not right. Yeah. Don't go down that road and do not yeah. do it. Yeah. But with that, I want to close out. Before we close out, I want to say this again. Go ahead. People need to stand up. You see someone in a bad situation, it's your duty to do something. It doesn't always have to be physical if you're not a physical person, but it's letting someone know. It's standing out, doing the right thing. We need to do the right thing. God bless. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Please continue to subscribe to the channel. Put a thumbs up, leave comments, and let me know what you like. Thank you, Toby, for coming on again and having this important conversation. And I always thank Jesus and God for giving me this platform. See you next time. Hold on. Don't forget to subscribe yes. at Andrea Javino one Subscribe on the YouTube channel. Follow you on Instagram yes. at... At Andrea Giovino. At Andrea Giovino and follow me at Toby TNT and the number one on Instagram. God bless. See you next time. Okay, let me change. That was a good one. And the...